Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you have selected a date and time field within the report to format, you will then see the date and time tab appear within the tabs listed at the top of the format editor dialog box. You can click this tab to set the display options for the selected date and time field. On the Date and Time tab, you can click any style listed within the Style List box to choose the selected style used to display the date and time values in the selected date time field within your report. Clicking the Customize button will launch the Custom Style dialog box where you can create and apply your own custom date and time styles to the selected report objects. In this dialog box, there are three tabs that you can use to specify the custom date-time format you desire. Date and Time, Date, and Time. If you click the Date and Time tab within the Custom Style dialog box, you can specify the desired sort order for date-time values from the drop-down of choices available. Date Time, Time Date, Date or Time. You can also choose which separator you want to use between the date value and the time value from the separator drop-down on this tab. If you want, you can also click into the text box shown and simply type the character that you want to use as the separator directly into the text box. If you click the Date tab, you can set a custom display for the date value in the selected date time field. You can use the Date Type drop-down at the top of this tab to choose to set the date display to the short date or the long date based on the system settings of your computer. You can also specify a custom display from the drop-down. If your operating system supports multiple calendar types, you can select which calendar type to use for the date time display from the calendar type drop-down. You can use the month, day, year, and era slash period type drop-downs that appear within the format section to set the display for those specific types of elements within the date format. In the order section, you can select the desired option button for the order of the month, day, and year elements. In the Day of Week section, you can click the desired day type that you want to display. To the right of that, you can use the Separator, Enclosed, and Position drop-downs to select a separator character to place between the day of the week and the actual date value, select a character set within which you can enclose the displayed date, and choose whether the day is shown at the beginning or ending of the date time value respectively. If you check the Link Separators to Date Order checkbox, this will include the specified separators when sorting date fields. Below that, you can then use the Prefix box to create a prefix for the date, such as the word Date. You can also specify a first and second separator character to be used between the three elements of the date display. You can then type any desired suffix value that you want to display after the date values into the suffix text box drop-down. If you would like to create a custom time value, click the Time tab within the Custom Style dialog box. You can set a custom display for the time values in a selected date time field in a report. If you check the Use System Default Format checkbox, the report will display the time values in the selected report field according to the current system settings in Windows. Below that, you can either select to display the time as a 12-hour or 24-hour value by selecting the desired option button. If you select the 12-hour display, then you can choose what characters you want to represent the hours from midnight to noon by typing them into the 0 to 1159 box if you want something other than the default value of AM. You can do the same for the hours of 12 to 2359 if you prefer a value other than the default of PM. You can use the hour, minute, 
and second drop downs to choose the displayed format for those elements of the custom time value. You can also choose or type in the character to use as the hour and minute separator and the minute and second separator into the boxes provided. When you've finished creating your custom value, click OK to return to the Format Editor dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.